Hello there, today we're going to be taking a look at the temperature sensor inside of the Security Probe web interface. Uh, so here we are on our sensors page and we'll go ahead and click our temperature sensor. Okay, so this brings us to our uh, standard page for our settings of the temperature, our basic settings. Now you have the sensor name in which you can uh, quite obviously change the name of your sensor. Uh, below that we have our notification thresholds. Uh, you can alter these thresholds uh, one of two ways. You can either click on the blue arrows and drag them left to right to alter your thresholds or you can manually input the numbers in the boxes below. Uh, below that you have your current reading of the temperature. Uh, we have our status uh, which will display the current status be it sensor error, normal, high critical or low critical and you also have the sensor uh, online and offline uh, status. Um, immediately below that we have our advanced mode button. Uh, when we click that we then have uh, our advanced options presented to us. The first one is we have our units in which we can have it displayed in either uh, Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, below that we have our rearm value. Uh, now what the rearm does is uh, essentially when a sensor uh, comes out of a high critical or a low critical or any other one and it reverts back to a normal status uh, in here you input the time in seconds that it has to be in that status uh, before it will accept it and display the normal uh, the normal uh, reading so for example if it comes out of the high critical and it goes into normal uh, at present once it's been in that normal status for two seconds it will then give you a normal reading uh, immediately below that we have our reading offset in here you can type a value and offset the degree uh, or Fahrenheit uh, in temperature and give you uh, an offset of that temperature so we could put plus 10 and then it would display a plus 10 uh, in de degrees or Fahrenheit depend uh, depending on what you set it to. Uh, below that we have our data collection type this is for the graphing interface uh, and you have the three options here of average highest and lowest. Immediately below that you have the sensors URL uh, you type in a website uh, in here and you can assign that website to that particular sensor and then in the map interface uh, on the uh, sensor settings it will display the uh, website and you can be taken immediately to that website of the designated sensor. Now you can find out more about that in the uh, map tutorial. Below that you have uh, the option to open that link in the current window or in a new winter window of your internet browser be that Firefox, Internet Explorer or uh, any of the other uh, internet providers out there. Uh, below that we have the continuous time for a sensor to be in new status before accepting the new status. Uh, so when the sensor goes into a high critical status uh, you can type in 10 seconds here. Once it's been in a high critical status for 10 seconds uh, it will then display that status. Uh, and that's exactly the same for the high warning, normal, low warning, low critical and also for the sensor error. Below that we have our calendar options. Uh, you can toggle it on and off. Uh, we'll just turn it on and here you have the uh, calendar uh, which displays uh, the uh, days of the week and the hours during those days and you can select uh, times of the day in which you would like uh, this sensor to become active and not active and uh, as you can see here the blue stands for report and the grey stands for do not report. Uh, once you're happy with your current settings uh, you go ahead and click save and there you go. Uh, that's it, very very easy